Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? And welcome to my Batman Arkham Knight August DLC review. Uh, I was supposed to put this out a couple of days ago, but I haven't really had time to get my hands on like the DLC and like play it in the past two days. I, I did a little bit today. Enough to like come up with the decision whether I like the August DLC or not. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So short answer... No, I, I don't like the August DLC. I like the August DLC, but I don't, and I'll explain that. So, the Batmobile, the, the Keaton Mobile, and the Keaton Suit are both superb. They're fucking sweet, alright? It is so cool being able to drive around Gotham in that Batmobile, you know, in that Bat Suit, and just being able to pop out of it. I was so scared you weren't going to be able to free run with that, but... They didn't go that route at all. You can free roam once you've taken out all the drones in the city. And that's perfect and perfectly fine for me. I'm completely okay with that. And the maps that you get with uh, the racetracks you get with the Batmobile and shit, they're cool too. They mix and match great stuff, like great sex from both Batman 1989 and Batman Returns. It, it's awesome, plus the music playing in the background, the, the little detail that they add, it, it's all cool to see all that stuff in-game, driving around in that, hear that music, see all these different sets, you know, the, the bell tower from uh, Batman 1989, the penguins with rocket launchers from Batman Returns, it's hilarious, it's awesome, and the racetrack is pretty fun itself, you know, it, it's all cool. And even the, um, the Bat Family skin pack, those are all cool. The Arkham Origins skin, the uh, 1970s skin, um, what else? The the Year One skin or something like that. The Nightwing skin, the Catwoman skin, um, the Robin skin. Those are all great. Like they're great skins, but that's it's just that they're skins. Where's the story? You know, uh, the the crap that we got with the game launch and like the first DLC. Uh, with the Batgirl, that wasn't a story. That, 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 I don't give a fuck what she said, that wasn't a story at all. That was horrible. It was an hour. And all the other mini DLCs were 15 minutes apiece. No. Those are not story. If you've beaten the game like I have, uh, on 100%, I'm not at 100%, I'm at 96, I'm like 100 really, really trophies away. I'm close. Uh, you you want more story, you know, it's been two months since the game's released, or three months, I don't fucking know, I don't keep up with time, I think it's been two. You want more story, You the game at this point, for anyone who's 100% of the game, is just sitting on their shelf, or sitting in their ga game library on PS4, and they're not touching it, like, yeah, they're hopping on for like 15 or 20 minutes to play this DLC, but because that's how long the novelty lasts. Like, once you do the racetracks, which take about two minutes, you know, a piece, you're like, okay, cool. If you're like me, you don't like redoing shit too much once you get, like, a high score. So I'm just like, all right, I've done that, cool. I don't really want to do it again, unless I'm just driving through, like, whatever. Um, You know, that's cool. That lasts four minutes total. You go in-game, and you drive around in it. Like, you can only drive around that map for so long without it getting boring. So 15 minutes, you know, there's fucking 19 minutes of game time that you've had. You check out all the other cool skins that they've added. You know, along with the Keaton suit, you walk around in it, you know, there's another 20 minutes. So, you're not getting anything. You're getting, like, fucking 39 minutes of fun. It's, it's, it's 39 more minutes of fun. After two months, two fucking 15 minute DLCs, and a one hour DLC. Where is the story? What? Why? Like I said, the skins are awesome. Like, the Batmobile is so really well designed. It's fun as shit to drive around, you know, while the fun lasts. Like I said, you can only drive around for so long without being alright. Like, alright, what, what's there to do? I can't blow shit up. I'm literally just driving around. This is Forza with nothing to do. It's literally just that. You walk around in the suit, you're like, okay, that's cool, let's go big up some thugs. You big up some thugs, you big up six group of thugs, and you're like, alright, next, you know, what else is there? It just, it gets 
boring. There's nothing new here. You're gonna have, like people who've 100 percent of the game. You're gonna be back on this game for max of one hour, and then it's going back on the shelf or back in the game library until the next skin pack comes out. And the next skin pack comes out. Like like I said, the skins are very well designed. They're cool to look at, but they're not gonna give you tons and tons more hours of fun. And it sounds like the DLC is only getting worse too. Um, next month DLCs. Uh, next month, yeah, DLCs. Uh, we're getting the Tumblr, which I'm really excited for. That thing looks fucking sweet. Okay, I'm probably a Dark Knight skin. That's cool. That's probably another 20 minutes of fun for me. Okay, that's cool. We're probably getting another little skin pack with those skins, like we got this month cool we're also getting a story pack with quotation marks i'm being a smart ass um which is basically described as nightwing trying to stop penguin from breaking out of the gcpd if you guys remember playing the game you remember how big the gcpd building is it's not that big it's got like four stories probably not even that okay so how are they gonna make a dlc last more than four hours or six hours in a four-story building, please fucking tell me. Because if you can't tell me, that means this DLC is going to last 45 fucking minutes to an hour. And that's unacceptable. I didn't pay $40 for 200 skins and fucking three 15-minute stories, okay? I'm, I'm so done with these DLCs, with these season passes that cost 20 to $40 and you get nothing out of them and that seems like where batman arkham knight's going we're gonna pay 40 dollars for a season pass get 200 well-designed skins that we're only going to use for like 10 minutes not even a piece probably 10 minutes in total you know you know that's nothing at all that's no new playtime yeah it's a lot of content like skins cool it's it's content yeah but it doesn't add playtime onto the game you want to get your money out of your game and out of the season pass you're not getting your money and time out of a hundred dollars in total if you've only spent 20 hours in total on the game counting story DLCs that is ridiculous because the freaking if they're only gonna last an hour piece and there's gonna be like four of them okay counting the Batgirl DLC that's like five hours probably with um you know they're gonna have a Nightwing one Robin maybe Jason Todd, Red Hood, maybe 16 or 17 hours total because the game took me like 12 hours to beat. The people who speedrun games, maybe 8 hours. So that's even less for them. That is not $100 to me. That's just not. You know, we need a big fucking like 8 hour DLC. That would give me right there, just that DLC would give me like my $40, $40 worth with all the skins coming with it. That would give me my money's worth. But it doesn't seem like we're going to get that. Like, ever. It seems like we're just going to get skins and one-hour DLCs where we stop a fucking short-ass British person from breaking out of a GCPD building. I mean, fuck me. It's just really frustrating. I was looking forward to the DLC in this game. I really thought that they could do some cool, cool shit with the characters that they left out from Arkham City, like Ra's al Ghul, Mr. Freeze, Killer Croc... You know, all those cool characters, Deadshot, you know, I thought they could do something cool with them, but it looks like they're going to get like an hour apiece, you know, probably not even that. It's very, very disappointing. I had high hopes for the DLC of this game, especially with the season pass costing so much. I really thought Rocksteady could do a good job with the DLC, but apparently not. It looks like we're going to get Batmobile skins and Bat skins for three more months, four more months, so look forward to that, you know, if you like an extra two or three hours for a $40 season pass. More power to you. I don't. So my rating for the August DLC is an F. Like fucking 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10. I buy it. I, w I would definitely buy it separate. But if you're a season pass owner, you're going to be pissed off just like I am. Because you get literally like 30 more minutes of game time. It's fucking ridiculous. It's It's... It's not fun. If if you don't have the season pass and you just want the DLC, like you just want to straight up pick and choose what you buy. Yeah, buy the Keep Mobile, buy the Bat Family Skin Pack. That's fine. You know, you didn't spend forty dollars on it. 
if you're buying it alone, I'd give it probably an 8 or a 9 out of 10 because it's fun to play with for that 30 minutes. But if you have a season pass, $40 for 30 more minutes of fun, you know, a portion of that DLC, like, that's like <laughs> one-fourth of the fucking, you know, DLCs to come. It's just, it's not worth it at all. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if I'm talking a little low. I can't really hear very good right now for some reason. Um, I don't really know why, so I don't know how loud I'm actually talking and it's nighttime. So I'm trying to keep it low. Um, so sorry if I'm talking low. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this shit in the comments below. Peace.